Hi everyone, today I'm doing a review of the Bosha Baby Soft Foot Peel. Um, I always thought this was pronounced Bossia, but the more people I hear say it, the more it is becoming apparent that it's actually Bosha. So I have a whole bunch of clips that I'm going to insert um, from when I actually tried the product. I'll probably insert those in a second, um, but I'm just going to explain the product a little bit. It's like that cult favorite right now going around. It's like that Asian product, Baby Foot. Um, I think it's Asian. I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, I used um, brow cream on it, so <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> yeah, so it's basically just a product, like a little booties that you wear for an hour, an hour and a half. And they're filled with alpha hydroxy acids and fruit extracts. And they basically penetrate your dead skin. And over four to five days or up to two weeks, as this package says, um, all the dead skin will kind of peel off in like big clumps and if you've watched other videos you know how satisfying that is um, But I can only find one other video on this specific product. All the other videos are specifically on baby foot The other brands product just like this. So I did have some concerns um, With this product when I first decided to try it one concern was that I react to everything I'm like highly allergic to everything trying new products is always kind of a gamble for me but I just decided to roll the dice because it's just so much dead skin, I, and it's just my feet, and I kind of felt like usually when I try something, I'll know right away if I'm going to have an allergic reaction. So yeah, I don't really know why I just decided to go for it, but I just did. Um, lately, I've been having better luck with products, so maybe that's why. The other concern was my toenails. I was worried that it was going to kind of eat through my toenails because the way I understand it, your toenails are dead cells as well. So I was thinking like if it can eat through the dead skin, then why not the toenails as well, you know? It just seems like they're both kind of the same idea. And I will say that it did kind of affect my toenails. It made them kind of brittle, some of them cracked. Um, they pretty much just like lost their integrity, which is okay, I mean, it's just toenails. I just buffed them and painted over it, but. <laughs> um, so I'll insert the clips here. So you can see from when I put the booties on to kind of the end of the peeling. I'm wearing the baby foot right now and it feels really, really cold and tingly, but it feels like it's doing a thing. So I like soaked my feet for like an hour before doing it and removed like the dead skin that just came off in the tub and then like in the hopes that like it would penetrate deeper that way. So. That's what I have right now. And I put socks on so that it actually holds because I have tiny feet. So the sock went like out to here and like didn't really touch my foot at all <laughs> with no sock. So I realized I didn't do a before. Um, sorry, my feet are dirty from just walking on the floor, but you can see I have like crazy huge dry cracked calves. Or no, what? <laughs> calves. Heels. <laughs> it's like its own little dry skin shelf, if you can see. Um, this is something I remove like every two weeks, but it just comes back over and over and over again. So I'm hoping that this is like a much less effort way to remove the dry skin. You can see my feet are kind of like pruned from being like in the, the acid for so long. The tops look like pretty normal. If anything, a little swollen from all the, like all the liquidiness. But yeah, they're really cold, so I'm going to put them in warm socks, and I'm going to go to bed. Feet look exactly, exactly the same as before. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that nothing at all has happened. Um, they are peely, but they're always pretty much this level of peely. Sorry the camera's so shaky, I literally only have my phone, so <laughs> that's what I have to work with. <clears throat> yeah, the reason I'm using my left foot so much um, as a... Like to show you, I guess, as the demonstration, <laughs> is that the uh, left foot is way worse for some reason. Like, yeah, like I showed in the uh, last clip, it has this like shelf of dead skin. Uh, yeah, I am on my feet pretty much all the time, so it's not great. Anyway, it's just a day two update. So it's day three. Ooh, it's hard to show you in this light, but they're starting to peel. Even more on um, the right foot, which is kind of annoying since it's the one that's not as bad. If you can see, I have like big chunks coming off, which is freaking awesome. 
So I forgot to update you yesterday, but um, yesterday I actually had some like really nice peeling as opposed to just flaking. Um, my heel's still just cracked. I'm not seeing really anything happen there, but I'm hoping that these are all going to turn into like pieces I can peel off. It'd be so great. Um, yeah, see like just a lot of stuff coming off, which I'm so happy about. This foot was great. I had like a really big peel on my heel, which it's not gonna focus, so there you go. Yeah, this this foot seems to be doing a lot more than the other foot, but I guess we'll just see as time goes on. Hi you guys, so it's day four. Um, I just like got into bed and I noticed that I actually have like some legit peeling going on, which is so exciting. Like, oh my God, look at that. Let's see if I can peel it off in one big. Oh, hell yeah. Sorry if that's super gross. <laughs> I'm just gonna sweep my floor. But oh my god, it's so... Like, it's literally so satisfying. <laughs> this is so gross. I don't know if I'll keep it in, but like... I love it. I mean, I don't find it gross. I just know other people find it gross. So this foot is even better. It's freaking awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> I think this is gonna be my final update on the, um foot peel so as you can see the the foot looks pretty good overall um it's definitely a lot softer uh down here at the heel but still a lot of flaky dryness uh, i don't have any foot cream on right now so that i could really show you guys how dry it gets um but this foot i feel like it really didn't get changed much at all i still have cracks um and this big like shelf of dry skin um, wasn't really affected at all. I don't know, it's like a very large callus that just keeps recurring. Uh, it really actually hurts because it's so thick. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. It was really fun to peel off the skin, um, especially in the bath, which I think I will have told you about in the video. Yeah, I don't know if I should, like, do it again or what. But yeah, that's the state of my feet. It's been two weeks since I did the treatment. One thing that I didn't get to film was one incident where I took a, a, a bath, so I soaked in the tub um, for a while, and that's after the last, one of the last clips there, like right before my final clip, after all the peeling. Um, but I took a bath, obviously didn't bring my phone with me to the bath, um, and after soaking for a, like a few minutes, um, all the dead skin that I, that I think would have peeled off over a couple weeks peeled off in the bath. And it was like I would just touch my feet and like lots of like lots and lots of skin would come off. Yeah, so that was actually like so satisfying. I know a lot of people find this stuff really disgusting, but I actually find it so satisfying. <laughs> it's so fun for me. The one thing I will say about this product is that it didn't really eat through the really, really thick patches of dead skin that I have. Um, it more or less was very like superficial. So I do want to do it again um, and if you want to see what happens when I do it again if it does like eat through deeper because it kind of got rid of the surface dead skin then let me know yeah I'm sorry that my room is such a mess I'm just not that like perfect youtuber <laughs> um, I, I try but I'm not <laughs> and I hope you kind of learned something about this product um, whether or not this would work for you I would say if you have just kind of like light layers of dead skin on your feet this is probably going to work like a dream for you whereas if you're like me and you're a server and you're on your feet all the time maybe this isn't going to penetrate as deeply as you'd like it to but it's still probably worth it it's a really fun experience it's really fun to try um and i would recommend it overall let me know what you think of this product in the comments if you've tried it let me know if you're going to try it um let me know if there's any other products you'd like me to review that are not too expensive because you see my view count? Yeah, so if you want to see my upcoming videos, I usually do makeup tutorials, but I'm going to try to throw in like little different videos here and there. If you want to see those upcoming videos, then just hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this or if you learned something. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.